Yeah. Moon's really big. It's time to see if my design is worth anything. It's actually been quite a few days since I've been on the Hermitcraft server, and in that time, it looks like... Wow. It, it looks like the moon has grown quite a lot. Oh my goodness. As it's approaching midnight, it's grown by about 20 to 25%. In fact, I need to make the glass bit even bigger. Okay, so it looks like... It's just about in the corners. It's right there. How do I mark this section? Yep, it's grown a full block. What does this experiment show? Well, it shows two things. One, the moon is definitely growing. And two, it's growing fast. Oh, whoa. And the earthquakes are stronger than ever. So the question is, is the moon getting bigger or is it getting closer. And what does this mean for us? Well, as long as we keep sleeping, it's um it's mostly out of sight and out of mind. There it goes, just <laughs> just over the horizon. What on earth is this? Moon ancient texts. In the year MMXXI, the great lunar neighbor will approach the hermit lands, angered by the hermits consistently sleeping away the nights. You must surrender your beds and commit to a life of wakefulness. Become a Mooner today! Our future as a server depends on it. Oh wow, look! They're crying! They're, are they crying because it's day? Who's gone and started a Moon group? I guess that would make sense if the Moon was a person. It would be annoyed by the fact that we're constantly skipping the night. Even if I don't necessarily agree that the Moon is like getting angry, I do like the idea of no sleeping quite a lot because it means that we can actually get our information from what's going on in the moon, seeing how big it is. It actually, I, it took me being alone on the server today to be able to measure the moon at all, because every time it's on, the big moon, no one wants to see it, so they, they sleep away the night. So, I am all for the anti-bed ruling. That means sacrificing these things. I might be taking a slightly different approach, but here we go. I commit myself to the moon temple. Goodbye, bed. That's the last time you're getting used. No! What have I done? Who leaves a beehive under here? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no! I forgot that Impulse's base is directly under this. Oh. Oh, no. Well, I know what I'm going to spend the start of this episode doing. Fixing up the bee farm. The good news is that bee farms are no longer very critical at this point in the season. We've got more than enough going on. But I've managed to fix it up best I can. I think it still works. I saw some honeycombs going in the machine. I've definitely lost a bee or two, though. There we go. No one needs to know what happened. The worst thing about it is I've ended up back with this bed <laughs> somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's- it doesn't want to go! New plan. Barbaric overkill. Goodbye, bed. No more nights for me. Ha! No farms under this island. And no more bed. Oh look, the moon's rising. <laughs> we got a lot of things to do apart from moon gazing all day. We have got to get on and start working on these extra bits here. We've got quite a lot of work to do before we can call this place complete. As good as it's starting to look, it is still in... It, it is still sh shaking and enormously empty. So I thought that this particular house could be made out of the blue warped stem. And then from here, all I've done is laid out what shape I think this should be. I'm gonna kind of mimic what's going on over here, especially down this end. This is, might be just a mirror. And from there, I think what we should do is hop into a time lapse because we need to build ourselves a brand new property on the good old Midnight Alley. So, let's go.
Here it is. The two new additions to Midnight Alley. I have to say, this is the first couple of builds that I haven't meticulously planned out. Most of these, in fact, I think maybe even all of these, have been planned out to an absolute creative T. However, these two, I just absolutely winged it. My goal here wasn't to make them radically different from everything else, but what I did want to happen is to create a three-dimensional bend, and as you can see, it does lean as it curves round, which is what I'm trying to create here is an atmosphere as you walk through, and the shape of this definitely helps. However, it's 100% missing some finer details that come from meticulously planning. However, I think I can come up with a few things here and there, just off camera, dot a few buttons, add a few more signs, and I think this will come together pretty quickly. I am basically going to replicate these two houses over here and retexture this one, and that will leave just a singular gap here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do this house a little later in this episode, and then maybe next episode, once this final thing is, is done, that will be it for the alleyway, apart from the interior bits. Now, I definitely don't have an appetite for doing the interior of every single building, so I'm going to have to do some theme park magic style to make it look like there's an interior, but secretly there isn't. Now, because everything's kind of magic themed, what we can do is make it look like they're just selling magical bits and bobs. So for this building in particular, I'm thinking of going reasonably dangerous. As we know from the charged creeper in the magical menagerie, I like quite dangerous displays. So here, this could end. This could end so badly. Why have I done this? This could all go kablooey with one poorly placed left click. Amethyst and some well placed lights, this should look like quite a magical enclosure. I'm really stupid. I'm really, really stupid. This should have been the last thing on the list. Okay. I don't, I don't like this. Ah. Whew. I've never, I've never been like this, this stressed out building something before. What? I don't know why I've embarked on this adventure. If I, if I mess up even a little bit, all of this, all of this goes along with all my items and everything I've ever loved. Woo! Okay, we did it. Now we just have to manage to leave without touching anything. Okay, let's see how that looks because if it looks bad, that's, there's nothing I can do. Oh, look at that. It actually looks so good. Oh, they're kind of, they're not quite in time, but they look like they're all part of the same display. That's pretty cool. Now I just need to replicate that once over. I bet there's some of you out there that secretly want this to blow up. You don't, you don't want me to succeed. This time I'm doing it the other way around. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, earthquakes don't cause it to explode. Oh, wow, did I get these in? These look like they're almost in perfect sync. Oh, wait, no, they're definitely not. There we go. That looks pretty cool. The purple on the gray makes a really good combination. So a few kind of trickery interior pieces like this, and this place will feel more and more alive without me having to do the tedious task of creating interiors for every single building. Originally, I wanted loads of farms behind here, but at this point, I've kind of got all the farms that I need, and I would just be filling it out for the sake of filling it out. I much prefer this idea. I'm still amazed that this went so well. Also, I have stuck to my promise of not sleeping. I have given up- did you see what I saw? I saw a- I definitely saw a block flying. I have, uh... Yeah, I haven't been sleeping at all. I have officially given up my bed. And, yep, right on schedule, my friends are here! Just to prove the point! And it's, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of, uh, it's been, a, it's been a few days since I've had a nap. And I'm starting to, I'm starting to feel a little bit tired. Just a little unkempt everywhere. My, my perfect hair is... <laughs> Please help me. I don't know why M Mumbo, Mumbo suggested that we don't sleep, because uh, it's starting to take its toll, and I think I'm starting to see things. There's loads of holes everywhere. Is that real? Ah! No. No, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this hole! <laughs> oh no! I don't have a bed! You sacrificed my bed! Oh, I'm so tired.
Sleep is, sleep is not for the weak. Sleep is for the sensible. I gotta find my way home now. I don't think I've been here. I don't think I've been up here in a long time. Press for emergency meeting. Yes, please. I'm so lost. I have no idea where Botum is. My stuff's gonna despawn if I can't find it soon. Botum! Why is it lined with TNT? Nope, I'm not giving up on this bed thing. I am. N I definitely saw. I am so. T I must be seeing things. Th you saw that, right? Falling block again? Right. No one is allowed to sleep. This is the new rule of the Mooners. I, I kind of want to see a. Fl I, I kind of want to see a falling block again. What if we just. Uh. Huh? Uh. Huh? uh huh? No. No, there, there it is. I, okay, there's another one. We're not going crazy. We we might be going crazy. Okay, right. Well, here's my here's my plan, everyone. It's a great plan. It's the best plan that's ever been planned. Here's what we do: to stop people sleeping, because we want we want to welcome our moon overlords. We want to, and of course, mainly we want to study it. We want to stop people sleeping. So, if you right click a bed, okay, it did. It went off. It went off. You hear that? It went off. So, in theory, here's, here's what we have to do. Instant karma machine. So, here's what we do. You put an arrow in, and then you right-click the bed. Apparently, it misses it there. Maybe it's because it's already inside? Okay. How do I... How do I get this? Uh, 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 uh. Really? Where did my where did my stuff go? Oh, okay, okay. The tired the tiredness is getting to me because my stuff was definitely not there for half a second. Okay, round two. This time, there's a small gap between the dispenser and the kaboom booms. I don't think I even need to get in the bed, do I? I can I can manually do this. I can use my brain. Just because I'm a bit tired doesn't mean that I'm a bit stupid. Maybe that's exactly what it means. I just saw a block in the distance. Right, here we go. Okay, let's try let's try a little bit further back. Yes, okay. Right, for some reason you need a two block gap for that to work. Mildly frustrating. And I lost my dispenser. Well, I think you know where I'm going with this. I am putting out a bottom wide ban on beds. It I will put up some signs saying that sleeping is no longer Permitted in Botum, and everyone should sign up to the Mooners. And if they decide to use their bed, well, kablooey. Okay. There's only one man <laughs> that I would like to trap his bed, and that is uh, the good old good times with Scar. I can't do it when he's right there. Hello, Scar. Can I do it when he's right there? Yeah, crazier things have happened in Scar's base. Let's make some noise, see if we can get his attention. Oh yeah, this is good. He's got the perfect bed for it as well because there's no way it will get seen. We can hide it under here. Unless we may need to do some reconfiguring. Also, this will do enormous damage. Enormous damage. We're gonna take some safety screenshots of this place just in case we get damage because I will repair it. We prank hard, but we clean up harder, right? Only Scar would I be able to prank his bed literally while he's right here. Now, how am I going to get away with this? I've ha I'm going to have to do some it's, it's some special hiding of this. Otherwise, he's definitely going to notice. Two blocks, an end crystal right here. This may be entirely visible. Who knows? Put some eggs in here. I cannot test this at this point. Okay, that should do the damage that I need it to. Still no scar. Scar's still there. Scar's still there. I can't believe I've got away with this. Let's just hope he doesn't notice a subtle change in the decorations. He might not notice something like that. Not unless he's looking up. He might notice this, which is an issue. But fortunately, I can replace this bit. Oh, it's perfect. It's like he designed it to be... Oh, moon's big. <laughs> he designed it to be pranked. He was asking for it. Look, it's it's so well hidden. No, well, maybe not Maybe not entirely hidden. I can, I can definitely see it bouncing up and down there. <laughs> oh, I'm 
tired. Okay, well this 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 should do it. Am I really that safe? Like who? Okay, right, Scar, do not sleep. It is not safe. Beds are banned. Join the Mooners today. Moon is big and angry. Now, what you need to know about Scar is Scar's actually not been on the server for a couple of weeks. So I'm pretty sure he's not seen the moon in a while and doesn't know what's going on. So this is how we're going to bring him up to speed. Beds are banned. Join the Mooners. <laughs> moon is big and angry. Good night, sweet prince. Actually, no, the opposite of good night. Don't, don't sleep, sweet prince. Now you see, this is only an issue if Scar decides to go to bed. He's been forewarned, and now we can go back to our daily business. There's a lot of holes in the ground, and I also better clean up the evidence. Is he back yet? He's not back yet. I kind of want to see there's a small chance that he might immediately sleep. That would be fun. This is a good exercise to know if we're able to trap beds effectively. Oh wait, he's back. Oh, he didn't sleep. Maybe he doesn't even... Oh, there he goes. Oh, look at that. Our majestic man. Trying to reach the moon. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Scar. Okay, maybe now he's gonna sleep. Maybe now he's gonna sleep because of all the mobs. Oh my goodness, please. Please tell me that's what he's gonna do. Is he gonna read the signs at least? I've been waiting here for most of the night. The moon's about to go down. Come on, Scar. Now, while we wait for the next... I, I don't think I can do face-to-camera talks. Uh, the, the bags under my eyes are, um... They're pretty. They're not, they're not that pretty. That's, that's, that's the thing. They're, they're pretty not pretty. Um, talk to the waffle. <laughs> while we wait for the next night so that we can check if Scar is going to sleep, I just want to give you a quick reminder that my merch store is still open and we are very, very close to the 5th of December, which is the cutoff point for guaranteed holiday time delivery. However, you still can make your orders afterwards. It may not arrive before that date. So check it out. We got some really cool t-shirts. We got the three lives, which has been by far the most popular. This is weird, isn't it? This is really weird talking to the waffle. On brand, we've also got some waffle t-shirts. So merch plug out the way. The date is coming up. Now we just got to wait for the piddly sun to go down so we can welcome the moon overlord and study it a bit harder. What I have noticed is that the blocks that are flying up are bouncing down. It happens in the day as well as at night, which is interesting. And I have also noticed, maybe it's not particularly obvious on camera, but I have noticed some times where jumping feels a bit odd as well, which all kind of leads to the moon interfering with gravity, which is mildly terrifying. But what we're mainly interested in now is whether or not our good friend, Good Times with Scar, is gonna blow up. The moon is rising, meaning another night is on its way for Good Times with Scar. The piddly sun has gone down. The giant moon is back. Does this even work? He's reading the signs. He's currently reading the signs. From his perspective, I bet you could just about see me through the window. Scar is the least attentive person that I know and I love it. I, I would never get away with anything like this from anyone else. I guarantee you he's going to sleep in the bed anyway. Scar... <laughs> <laughs> You did, you did read the signs, right? <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be a bomb. <laughs> I just thought it was a threat. A threat. <laughs> Dude, if we just sleep, we never have to worry about the moon. That, that, that's no, that's that's what me and Mumbo are trying to avoid. Actually, me and Mumbo have very different ideas of what's going on. I would uh -huh. like to scientifically study the moon, and I can't do that if it's always day. And <laughs> I see. Mumbo believes that the moon is our neighbor and we should welcome it graciously. He's he's he, he's worshiping the moon. Did you did you feel the shaking? Yeah, there's sh you haven't been on the server in a while, right? Uh there's mm -hmm. th there's there's shaking, there's uh that the moon is big, there's blocks flying everywhere. It's getting crazy. And now are, I've just are, blown up your base. Are you feeling okay? You got some you got some kangaroo sacks under your eyes. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This these are these are bags for life. Uh, <laughs> these, <laughs> what? 
<laughs> these are uh, the these are my these are my badge of honor for not sleeping. I'm really tired. I don't know what's real anymore. Oh, hold on. Let me get you a bed. Oh no, that's right. My bed blew up. <laughs> it's no, actually it's right here. But you oh, won't be needing it, it anymore. Beautiful. Why didn't you, Why didn't you come over to the Mooners and uh, sign up? No, Scott. No, 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 no. <laughs> no more sleeping. I did this whole thing to kind of prove a point. No more sleeping. Well, I know. I'm gonna I have don't to have a floor anymore. Your, I'm gonna have to fix. Don't worry. I'm gonna fix up your base. Okay. Kind of. So, can I become a mooner too? Do we moon people on the server? Oh my we God, we God. do. No. Wait. Wait. No. Wait. No. We don't. Do, we don't moon people. We on do. The you said we do. No. No. We don't. I'm tired. Okay. You see these bags? <laughs> I do see the bags. I mean, there's almost. Oh. Oh my God. It's doing oh, it again. There we go. There we go. Just shook a little. Come with me. Come with me over to the to the my mooners. Ooh, will you look at this? There we go. Right, so you I can love read cults. What, we can read what this is wait, it, it, nothing no one said anything about a cult. Dude, this 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 is the, all the hallmarks of a cult. A circle, flames, <laughs> some kind of idol. It, there's all the th hallmarks. There's nothing nothing nefarious going on here. Just uh read the book and put a drop of blood on there and you'll be in. <laughs> Moon arranging text. In the year Did Mumbo write this? Yeah, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we'll approach the hermit lands um, as a server <laughs> depends on it. Wow, that's pretty wild. Okay, so how so, do I become one? Well, well, you basically just give up your bed, which you more or less have done. So what I did was I blew up my bed. If you want to throw your bed in the fire and get rid of it that way, you can. Uh oh, you're in. I'm in. I didn't. Need, I didn't need to almost kill myself. No, that wasn't part of. Oh. It was just the bed thing. Oh, okay. Well, it was all right. It kind of woke me up. <laughs> I feel like you need to get woken up a little bit. <laughs> I need a um, cup of coffee. <laughs> all right. Okay, so I'm a mooner. Basically, it's our job to make sure that it stays night when it's night and not day. So all those people sleeping, yeah, I think even the redstone's tired, dude. Like it's, uh, I don't think they're supposed to be like half crying. I don't know what's going on anymore. Should we kill beat-ups? Now you're thinking like a mooner. <laughs> oh, mooner here. <laughs> oh, he's not on, but yeah, I mean. you. If he you... was on, I would kill him. <laughs> Dude, I have a job as a mooner the, now. The worrying thing here is that I've I've had several days of no sleep. You're fresh as a daisy. I am. I'm fresh as a daisy, ready for murder. Well, before <sighs> that, to be back. since since since, <laughs> since B Dubs isn't here, uh, do you want to take a look at the uh, good old uh, midnight alley? Because you said you wanted to do uh, a little piece of it, and I have got a little piece oh, of yeah. it if you still want to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go over there. Ooh, look Here at this. Here it is. Oh, 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 oh. See, the gravity. The gravity's odd. The gravity's oh, weird. Dude, that's scary. That was amazing. You just straight what? up landed on the horse. Okay, right. Here we are. This, this here is the little entrance to the very sort of dark and shady alleyway through here. This oh. is like the secret place. I thought this could be like a nice self-contained area. Not too big. I'll take care of the, the, the midnight sky element up the top. And you can okay. basically do whatever you want in here. This is your little area. <laughs> oh, oh, I can do, I can do anything I want. I'm gonna retract that a little bit. I'm gonna backtrack. <clears throat> I am pretty sure we heard that uh, I can do anything and you know everything. What? Uh, go for it. I, I, <laughs> I'm gonna oh, regret this. Gonna this. All right. Well, that's exciting. Well, I'm gonna build a shop in this episode, but I'll be back in the next for that. That will be, um, that'll be really cool. So. I guess uh, as a mooner, I gotta go kill B-dubs. I feel like I feel like you just want to kill B-dubs. I feel like this has very little to do with the. the no, moon. no, I'm committed to the cult. I'm committed <laughs> to the cult. All right, Green, have a good day. Oh, can you fix my house? Okay. Yeah, bye. yeah, yeah. yeah I'll fix your house. house. Okay, we are all tidied up and rebuilt. Back to where we are, and he won't be needing this anymore. Now that Scar is a mooner, just like Mumbo and myself, it's time to do what I said I was going to do earlier in the episode and finish off this part here, leaving just one section left until superficial completion. It means nothing behind the windows, but for the most part, it's done. So let's hop into another time lapse and try not to fall asleep. Okay, I did exactly what I said I was gonna do, and we've got ourselves two more buildings. I must admit, these two are like kind of down the end. You shouldn't see them too much from here because they will be completely blocked 
by the ones we did earlier, but take a look. It's starting to come together. I can't believe how little there is left, and then this whole thing should be enclosed. We're getting really, really close to the end now. Ah, this is so cool! I don't know whether to split this up. I feel like I need something different in this space because we've got quite a lot of tall, thin houses now. There's one, two, three there. Over on this side, I had one, two, three. I need, I need something different because I've, I've just got too many repeating style houses now. I need something a little different, kind of like this one is a little bit different. I'm not entirely sure, but I am afraid that that is all we have time for today. I have had a wonderful time this episode, despite being extremely tired. We've recruited Scar to the Moon Project. We have done a whole bunch of work to Midnight Alley, and there's holes everywhere. We've witnessed more and more moon evidence. So all there is left to say is a massive thank you for watching, and of course, take a look in the link down in the description because I've still got my merch up for sale, and there's not long left for that guaranteed Christmas time delivery. So, again, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next episode. Goodbye!